Right, today I'm going to challenge myself and I'm going to use these pair of dice to determine the trick and all of these bikes. Okay, so I've got six bikes to choose from. So if I roll a one or a two or a three, it determines on what bike I'm gonna be choosing. So the bikes that I'm gonna be riding, potentially, come with me. I'm gonna start off with my Canyon Stitch 720. This is my slope style bike, designed for all tricks. Moving on to my Scott Genius 700 Tune. This bike is an Enduro bike suspension. Right, and this one is Doddy's nuke proof digger this is a cross bike or a gravel bike and i've never ridden one but he's saying it's pretty big for himself and he's a big man right and this is neil's e-bike i've never ridden an e-bike before and this is the high bike enduro 8.0 that's 180 mil of travel so that's going to be exciting to try and ride and do something i don't know what tricks there are and then this one, you've probably seen it before, but this is my Scott Gambler 720 downhill bike. I rode this one at Dark Fest, so that one, you can throw anything at that and then it'll take it. Then you got this one, Sumo Sam's fat bike. This is the Canyon Dude. I do love this bike, full carbon fat bike, but we're gonna see what it's, what it's like to do some tricks on. I do know I can flip that thing, but we've got one more thing. Oh no, no, no. Look at this piece of rubbish. This is a Cy Richardson's one. If you, you probably don't watch GCN, obviously because you watch GMBN, but if you haven't seen it, take a look at this. First the worst. Cy's efforts means he lives up to the nickname, the Ringmaster. Yep, they did a challenge and this was his bike of choice for those challenges. Basically, I don't want to roll the dice and end up riding this piece of junk because I don't want to because the rear brake doesn't even work. But let's talk about the rules of this game. <laughs> okay, now the rules of the game. If you're not very familiar with this concept, skateboarders and BMXers play this. They play skate dice, bike dice, and today we're playing bike dice, obviously. I have a pair of dice. One dice represents the trick and one dice represents the bike. So depending on what dice you roll and this ends on basically number four that could be no hander for example and then you roll this dice and it ends on number two and number two could represent either e-bike so that means you got to do a no hander on the e-bike simple you throw the dice in the box and whatever numbers it rolls on so number two i gotta choose a bike depending on what it is and number seven i do the trick on that specific bike so it could be ending up doing some crazy trick on some other bike that i don't particularly want to ride Let's get started. Let's hope we don't get a really bad bike first throw. So first throw, white is trick, black is bike. So we've got four, four is the bike. And number four is <laughs> the slope style bike. And the trick, it's a really hard trick to start off this whole thing. It's, it's the nothing. Basically what the nothing is, I do a no footer and a no hand and let my bike hover in the air. Brilliant, right, let's go. Oh no, <laughs> right. I'm gonna call the nothing on the step up here. So let's have a go. <laughs> right, that was a bit lame. I'll try to get a bigger one for you. <laughs> That's the nothing. Basically, you're just taking your body away from your bike. You're doing a huge starfish in the air. And that is the first one. Now, what else has these dice got in for me? Let's have another throw. I don't want the, I don't want the gravel bike. The others, I don't want the e-bike. Anyway, let's go. White is trick, black is bike. Oh, wow. Okay, so six is the Enduro bike and seven is the one foot X. <laughs> so Enduro bike, that is the Scott with all these cables, does it? It does do the X up. Right, next challenge. <laughs> well, that was fun, that was a super old school trick. Yet again, 
says what it says on the tin. X up, take your foot up. That's the Enduro bike done. What's the next one? We could end up doing another trick on one of those two bikes. White is trick, black is bike. Oh wow, black is the downhill bike. Number one is the Tuckner Hander. It's a downhill bike. Tuckner hander. Okay, okay. Do you know what the hardest thing is? All is going from a super hard, rigid kind of suspension bike to a super soft bike on the Scott. Where I, I'm glad there was lockout because I locked it out. This one still set up for Dark Fest, which is super stiff. And Dark Fest is just some humongous jumps. Tuckner hander, downhill bike. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Tuckner hander on a downhill bike. That was done. God, we're getting through this quite good. I'm getting quite lucky. I don't want to catch, count my chickens before they hatch though. Let's move on again. I don't want to, I don't want to say it. It's the slope style bike and the number two, it's the bar spin. Let's do it. Right, the bar spin, if you don't know what it is, I'm going to run it through you. That is the bar spin. Hopefully I catch it. So that is the bar spin. All right, let's go. All right, so I've done two tricks. You would think it's all planned, but it's not. I'm using the dice, as you've seen. What brings the next bike? <gasps> so it's three. Three is a no foot can. I don't think I can do it. It's the gravel bike. I don't think I can no foot can that bike, man. No, I can't. I can't do it on the, I can't do it on that step up. I, I can't. <gasps> right. First off, I'm gonna lower the saddle. Well, this is Doddy's personal bike, so if it breaks, it's his fault. And look at this, he's got his flipping ninja tool here. Toe pick ninja tool, dude. Wish has got no tool in it, why? Doddy, come on. Right, for a start, look at this. I can like lean on this bike because it's so tall. That's Doddy's crutch height. His crutch is like there on me. He's so tall. So we slam in that thing all the way down. Not that it's going to make much difference because it's an extra large frame. Do you know what? I don't know if I can do it on that step up. We might have to go to a different jump. That's not super aggressive for this particular geometry bike. Let's go down there. <laughs> wow, this feels horrible. So I've moved away from the big step up because obviously I'm a bit scared and I've done ride road bikes on dirt. So I've come to a smaller jump, so a small tabletop. And whilst riding down here, I've noticed this on the drops. My body's too close to the top tube, so I won't be able to get my legs over. So I tried it on the hoods, which gives me a little bit more distance for my legs to come through. But I'm going to have to be doing super crazy lunges because I've got to get my legs over across this top tube, but I'm just going to take it. If my foot comes over the top tube, that is a no foot can and I'm scared. I don't even know if I can do it yet. Right, I'm going to hit it a few times because I've actually never got air on a road bike, let alone a cyclocross slash gravel bike. I'm going to do it again. Build up my confidence because I'm going to need it. Wow. You know what? I'm going to do it to the top. I'm going to use it as a fly out. Do you know what I mean? So I'm going to just jump up and land on top so I can get my legs off just for you and for me actually. Right, let's have a go. Right. It's a bit silly, the dice did beat me on this one, but I didn't particularly want to break the bike and I got a slow puncture and it's just going wrong. So I'm not gonna, not gonna defeat me. I'm gonna clear the jump and I do like a one footer, maybe a one foot, one hand. Let's mix up. I'll do a trick on this bike because I want to try it. <laughs> it's like cyclocross. You don't need to ride your bike. Oh man. Sorry, Doddy. Well, I didn't break your bike. That's a good thing, but I did give you a puncture and I'm sorry for that. Um, and I'm sorry, Dice, because I couldn't actually execute the no foot can, which is a shame, but this bike is super big for me. I did do a trick, do the one hander, the one footer, sorry, on the drops, just for you, Mr. Ashton. Right, let's move on from that sad sadness. Right, we haven't done e-bike. We haven't done the fat bike and I don't even want to mention that thing behind me. Don't even look at it this way. All right, dice, let's do it. Well, it's number six, which is the Enduro bike, and then number five, which 
<laughs> this is the suicide. Well, we don't want to do the enduro bike again, do we? Do you want to see a suicide on that? No? All right, let's re-throw that. Or should we leave the suicide and throw the bike dice again? Yes, that's a good idea. So number five, suicide, bike dice. <laughs> E-bike, fat bike, E-bike, fat bike. Let's go. Number two, it's the fat bike. <laughs> Number two, number five, fat bike, suicide. Suicide is just basically a trick that you throw your arms behind you in the air, then grab your bike and land. That's the trick and the aim of the trick. And we're gonna do it on this thing, the canyon. Dude, sweet, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, fat bikes never cease to amuse me. I love them. Let's park you back up, dude. Sweet. All right, fat bike, done. Suicide, tick. Next, dice. Black as bike. Oh, wow. Superman, what bike is the Superman gonna be on? <sighs> E-bike, Superman on the E-bike. I haven't even ridden an e-bike. Mm -hmm. Let's have a go then. Definitely want to slam that back down there. 180 mil of travel. Superman basically, do what it says on the tin. Superman in the air. I'm gonna do on that step up again. How do you turn it on? Oh, oh, oh my, wow. You can get endless laps on this thing. <laughs> oh, right. I do want to point out I have never tricked or jumped an e-bike. So this is a first try Friday for me on an e-bike. <sighs> Does that mean I have to introduce myself? Hi, my name is Blake Sampson. This is my first try Friday. Superman e-bike on that. Oh. Wow. <sighs> Whoa. <laughs> right. E-bikes kind of changed my changed my perspective on these things. Pretty crazy. Did find that it is heavy, but super stable in the air. Wow, impressed. Maybe I have to spend a bit more time on that. Let me know in the comments down below. E-bike Blake or nah, stick to the normal bike. Right, let's move on. We haven't ridden one of the bikes. Do I want to? Ah, 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 come this way. I don't want to ride that thing. It's horrible. All right, it is horrible. Please don't be that bike. It is, look, it is that bike. All right, so it's that bike, nothing. And what I did on the slope style bike, oh, like big starfish in the air, on that thing, on that. Please, no. I haven't even, no, I can't. No. Oh, man. The back brake doesn't even work. I'm going to throw that trick again. I'm going to jump the bike, but I'm not going to do that trick, man. No. Right, throwing it away. Oh, I don't want to do that, but I will ride it. So that's a bonus. Tuck no hander. Suck my hand on that thing. Well, I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna ride the jump and see what that thing is like in the jump. I don't want it to fold under me because that's the worst thing. Imagine that. Oh, let's go get it. Oh, no, no. It's got a bell. It's got reflectors. It's got a carrier so you can carry your friend on it or carry your, your shopping from the, the market. Look at those pedals. It's got disc brakes, but they're not hydraulic. The cable, cable discs, and the rear one is seized, so that doesn't even work. So I've only got one brake. It's two by, it's not even one by. It's got no suspension. Look at that. The chain's bounced off. Fabric. The grips, they should move. Right, enough complaining. Let's do it. Let's see if I can actually ride this thing first. Let's put that back on. Let's see if we can actually ride this thing first. Not, oh my gosh, brakes don't work. Oh man, wow, this rides faster. <laughs> Look at that. Look, I got a puncture on that. <laughs> this is rubbish, rubbish bike. But I actually did the tuck no hander and it, uh, yeah, it was all right. Scary, because the stem is super long and I had nowhere for my thighs to actually grip into it, so I, I, I did it. Poor excuse. <laughs> wow, look at that. To end the video, flip. But I guess you wanted to see me flip that piece of rubbish though. Actually, it would have been 
bit more uh, exciting to watch. Watch me be super scared. But there you go, bike dice with a little bit of a difference with a number of bikes and a number of tricks on either one. I reckon this should be a volume two. Let me know in the comments down below if there should be a volume two, because I think I want to do it. Maybe just one bike with another rider and then the dice just to show off all the tricks. That would be quite cool. Maybe on some dirt jumps or maybe get Neil involved. Hey, if you want to see that, let us know in the comments down below. But if you want to see more videos just like this one in a game of bike, click just down here. And if you want to see five essential skills, how to use that on the streets, click just down there. Smash that globe if you haven't subscribed already because you're missing out, obviously. And if you loved it, give it a thumbs up like.